we are at a moment of extraordinary opportunity. Over 10 years ago, Communications of the ACM published Scratch, Programming for All. At the time, the idea of expanding coding to everyone seemed aspirational. Today, that aspiration has become a reality. Worldwide, school systems and policymakers are embracing the idea that coding can and should be for everyone. Now, after a decade, researchers have found some key insights in the educational direction that works best. Join us as we speak with Mitchell Resnick and Natalie Rusk at MIT to discuss coding at a crossroads. We've seen over the last decade that millions of students have become engaged in coding experiences. We've also seen that it really depends how it's introduced, whether it really engages young people from a wide variety of backgrounds, cultures, and interests. We have found the students have their most creative learning experiences when they're engaged in meaningful projects, going through a process of turning an initial idea into a creation that they can share with others. Researchers note, in order for students to develop computational fluency and creative thinking skills, the key to a student's understanding to coding is the approach. It's so important how coding is introduced and whether it's introduced in a narrow way where it's just teaching certain concepts, certain definitions of certain words, like what is an algorithm, rather than really thinking about how do we introduce it in a way where students can see how can I use this to express my ideas, to talk about something I'm interested in, or in an issue that I'm really passionate about. Many schools introduce coding through a series of logic puzzles, where students solve one puzzle and move on to the next. We've taken a different approach where we give students the opportunity to create their own projects. And in the process, we've seen that they learn to express themselves and to develop as creative thinkers. Although coding has grown throughout the education system, researchers have found that schools don't always focus on multiple disciplines that help develop creativity, collaboration, and communication skills. When assessing student projects, often a very narrow approach is taken that only focuses on the coding blocks and concepts that are included in a single project, rather than looking at the development of vocabulary over time, and more importantly, what is each project trying to say? Does it make sense? Is it achieving its goals? What's the design, interactivity, and message that's getting across? In an elementary school in the United States, students use Scratch to create animated book reports about their favorite books. One student chose Charlotte's Web and made an animation of the pig in the book. At one point, she wanted the pig to move into the distance, and she had to learn how to write a script to make the pig smaller by multiplying its size by a fraction. She also used ideas she had learned in art class about perspective. So she was bringing together ideas from language arts, math, and art class, cutting across all of the disciplines. With the recent growth in coding in schools, one might ask, what does the future hold? We really hope that more educators will think of introducing coding less as something that they're trying to get all students to the correct answer, and more, how can we create spaces where they're really creating projects based on their interests, able to problem solve, take risks, and then share what they've created with others in their community. Find out more in Coding at a Crossroads, a contributed article in the November 2020 Communications of the ACM.